On the other side of the room, Antonia Minore, daughter of Emperor Marcus Antonius, grandmother of Caligula and great-grandmother of the infamous Emperor Nero. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Dive Saga channel, a deep dive episode. Again, as you know, that means we discuss last week's episode. Every two weeks we do an amazing uh, adventure dive and uh, on the in-between weeks uh, we try to discuss them and answer some viewer questions. Last week we visited the uh, sunken Roman city of Baia near Napoli in Italy. If you have not seen that episode, I'll put a link below. You do have to watch that. It's pretty prerequisite to following this specific episode. Uh, and I already mentioned it. It's, I think, my favorite episode until now. Um, there is somewhere on this uh, channel a top 10 list of my personal favorite dives so far, at least the ones I've done. Uh, if I had to remake that list today, I think this one might be on the top. And that's funny, because when we surfaced, I told Gabby, you know what, I really like this dive, but it's pretty static. I don't know if I ever need to do it again. And in the editing process, all I could think was, oh, I wish I could go back. And not because I missed anything, it's pretty complete in terms of footage, but the amount of details as I started researching, who's who uh, in terms of the statues, what's what in terms of the mosaic floors, um, it's just so amazing to dive into history. Um, so yeah, today we're going to answer some viewer questions. We're going to talk a little bit more about about where it is, how you can get there if you want to do that dive yourself. And we're also going to have, of course, a preview into next week's uh, adventure episode. So uh, thank you everybody, really well received uh, episode here about the sunken uh, Roman city. And uh, yeah, channel doing really well, as you know, the goal is to make this the ultimate scuba diving resource and uh, I'm so grateful for everybody's support. So the first thing I need to do is actually, I need to thank someone. Um, a few months ago before I went to Europe, I posted on our Instagram page, which you should follow, uh, if anybody has some cool, unusual European dive sites and um, among others such as for instance Tech Dive Sana with her beautiful uh, mind dive that you should check out as well we uh, and and Vinkeveen in the Netherlands which was super great uh, those were all viewer suggestions as was uh, this particular site suggested by Pepe uh, goes by the handle rookie diver you should maybe check out his page and he said you should go to Baia in Italy and so I did I always try to take your suggestions I'm not a millionaire so I always need to kind of time it with when I am in the area and when the budget allows it. But this was just amazing. So Pepe, thank you so much for that suggestion. Uh, like I said, maybe my favorite dive ever so far. Um, the whole episode hinges on uh, the idea that this uh, piece of land that this ancient Roman town was built on actually sank into the, uh, the ocean. So it is near the Vesuvius volcano, but unlike the cities of Pompeii and Ercolano that actually got, uh, Pompeii got covered in lava and then Ercolaneo got, uh, yeah, uh, vaporized by a, what do you call that, a pyroclastic shockwave. Uh, this actually just sank. So there is a big uh, magma chamber under that whole area. And when this chamber empties, the whole area just slowly goes down. And so some of it actually sinks in the ocean because it was already close to sea level to begin with. And then over the course of another thousand years, it will eventually rise back out of the ocean. So that's actually pretty crazy if you think about it in a time that we won't live to see, but in another thousand years, uh, Baia will actually be uh, re-emerged once more and whatever is left of the ruins will uh, yeah, you'll be able to visit it by walking there. But for now, it's only visitable, visitable, visitable by uh, scuba divers. So that's us, right? Super cool. Um, I didn't even um, really research it too much before I went, uh, but I booked it because it was the day uh, of my 39th birthday. So <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, that was a little birthday gift to myself. Um, I went with Subaya Diving Center, um, a little 
plug here for them. It's not really a sponsored episode or anything like that, but uh, they did do a really good job. And I always appreciate it when people are, you know, willing to, to cooperate a little bit uh, when we try to make these things. Uh, our dive guide, Alex, did a great job explaining everything. And uh, yeah, you can actually book a private guide. You pay a little extra, but that's what I did because I wanted the cleanest possible shots. Uh, and yeah, we did get them. The vis was not great. Apparently, if you want really good visibility, you should actually go in winter. That's what they told us. Uh, we went in, uh, well, May 18th was, uh, was the, the date of this dive. Um, but what an amazing birthday present to, uh, to myself. You, the best way to get there, if you want to get there, is uh, stay in Napoli, in Naples maybe. Um, and then um, honestly, do not, drive, do not rent a car and try to drive there. You will not you will, unless you are from Italy, you will probably not survive it. Uh, it's a great place. Napoli is amazing. The food is delicious, uh, but the, the traffic is not something I recommend engaging in. Luckily, they have a really good railroad network and you can literally take a train in the center of Napoli and just shoot down to, uh, to Baia. And then it's a little walk, but you could also take a taxi, of course, uh, and then it's right there in the bay. Uh, you cannot dive it by yourself. You do need, it's a marine park, right? Uh, the archaeological marine park. So you do need uh, a, a registered operator to go and dive these sites. And then they cover them uh, every night. And then every morning, the first guide sort of uncovers all the mosaics with the rocks uh, to show everybody. And then every evening, the last guide sort of covers them again. That helps preserving them. So that's really, really cool. Uh, I have some nice comments from people uh, right here. Sean McCarthy says, stellar episode. That's got to be one of the best dive sites in Europe. I agree. Uh, adding scuba diving Roman ruins to the bucket list for sure. Yeah, the Mediterranean often gets like some, um, yeah, bad rep for being like not having a lot of wildlife and stuff. And actually disagree because in some areas there is really good wildlife where they have marine protected areas. But when it comes to, um, yeah, just historical diving, wrecks, the Mediterranean has so much to offer. And yeah, the, like the fact that this is there, this is actually crazy. I think the only reason that it's not more famous is because maybe there's not really any other like super crazy good diving nearby so there maybe isn't like that expansive market but it's so worth just the visit honestly if you're if you like history um, and then Peter Bauer said great episode I'm thinking you nail it thanks I really try to I'm trying to make it into like an actual TV show that would be like my ultimate goal uh, I really like the statues at the end he says yeah me too um, caveat it's in the episode as well the statues are actually like the only thing that's not like a hundred percent real in the sense that when they found them, they realized how much the ocean was actually eating away at them. And so they, uh, they hoisted them out of the water and they immediately made casts uh, and uh, replicated them exactly as they were found. So they put them in the same spot, same, you know, some of them are kind of like half in the sand. They did it exactly like that. There's somewhere the face is gone or like the head is cut off or they're missing an arm. That's how they found them. They didn't try to do any restoration just so you really get the feeling of what it's like to uh, to find them, right? If you're like, I, I really got my inner Indiana Jones on when I, when I saw all that. Uh, and then there's also, stuff, like they didn't remove a whole lot. So some of it's in a museum, but a, a lot of it, for instance, there was this big marble sitting bench that yeah, presumably is also just too heavy, but it's just kind of there, like half sticking out of the sand, uh, which, allows you to feel what it's what it feels like right so yeah 100 percent like i agree the statues for me especially because then as i started researching the who's who you start seeing the family connections between all of them and and the idea that uh, emperor claudius really built so it's called a nymphaeum which is kind of like um call it like an entertainment uh room if you want um where, yeah, all the statues were sort of uh, surrounding the room. Um, really cool fact as well, the floors are real, of course, the, the mosaic floors, they are as is, but there is something that's not in the episode, just because I kind of try to stick around a 10 minute runtime uh, every time, which is, um, they had raised floors uh, made out of, I think it's terracotta, right? Like a type of clay. And um, they raised the floors by about a foot, 30, 40 centimeters. Uh, and then that's what they put the uh, mosaic floors on top and so uh, workers and that's just a really nice word for slaves I guess would um, would then 
blow hot air under those floors and so you got uh, floor heating and you can actually see those uh, those constructions or part of those constructions uh, as well so if you have a good guide uh, then you you it's really crazy and and, and eye-opening um, save rc says love this channel and instagram thank you thank you i always appreciate it when people just throw like a nice comment in there yeah the instagram is also a little bit where it's at eh? you can find extra uh, information a little reels about the episode and uh, announcements about upcoming episodes as well um, we're gonna talk about next week because I got a really cool episode coming up as well but first we still have two open spots on our cenote diving trip so november 4 to 11 2023 uh, so you uh, that only is valid if you're watching this now and not in the future uh, we are going to mexico fly into Cancun and then uh, we will arrange a shuttle down to uh, the villa. I rent a big villa with uh, space for 12 but so there's two spaces left, uh, double occupancy rooms and we're gonna do 10 amazing curated cenote dives. They're not cave dives, you do not need to be a cave or a cavern diver, you do need to be advanced open water certified and if you have nitrox that's great, if you don't have it we can get uh, you certified on the trip but that way you're gonna get the most out of all the amazing sinkholes. Uh, there is some overhead environments but it's within the cavern limits and it's a four to one dive guide ratio all the guides are personal friends of mine again hand-picked every morning we get picked up by um, by the trucks uh, driven into the jungle every evening we come back to the house so uh, everyone's welcome if you are like I said uh, properly certified and if you're willing to have a nice time so one thing that is uh, that I personally really like about my little dive saga family is that it's a range from 18 to yeah I don't know 70 uh, and everybody's welcome as long as you're willing to be a nice person to other people uh, in the group that's that's amazing so yeah check it out let me know you can text me personally if you want to join uh, it will surely fill up it always does every year next week next week uh, I, uh, I will be diving the Um Al Farud oil tanker in Malta so uh, the Um Al Farud is an oil tanker that actually exploded in the uh, in the harbor uh, of uh, Valletta in uh, Malta and uh, got scuttled so he's uh, actually one of the more famous wrecks worldwide I would say uh, and I had a chance to do an amazing uh, wreck penetration dive and uh, pour it into a little educational video and so I did and that's what we're gonna check out next week that's about it if you have more questions of course you can always ask them i'm hoping this episode will uh, live on on the youtube channel forever because like i said it's downright amazing maybe i'll even go back i don't know i love it i love it love it love it let me know what you thought about that dive site as well as always if you are not subscribed to this channel do so because every two weeks we do have an amazing uh, adventure that drops and uh, if you have suggestions other places that i should check out let me know as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time